It's the first week in July and our squash is taken off. What we've got here is a acorn squash. I pulled up some seedlings from the compost pile that I believe are spaghetti squash. I know we had some a while ago and they sprouted all over the place. Well, it doesn't really matter because I like all squash. The garden's looking pretty nice and we have a lot of designated areas for squash. One thing to remember about a squash plant is they take up an awful lot of real estate. So we have some squash planted over here. It's gonna take up this portion of the garden. This individual, we got a, oh, we've got one ready, a little yellow crook neck. Give it another day or two and we'll pick him. We've got uh, a zucchini. Now normally I plant two or three zucchini. They can get overwhelming and they can really take off. Oh, we got a zucchini ready to pick too. That's great. We'll pick them tomorrow as well. Have a zucchini dish. The thing about some of these squash plants, especially the zucchini and the yellow crookneck, is you have to pick them when they get to the right size. If you wait until they get too large, then you have a really seedy, not so tasty squash to eat. Now some people like to stuff the zucchini, and myself included, but more often than not, I like tender young zucchini. And you know what? The more you pick, the more they produce. So, middle of July, the garden's doing really well. Oh, we got cucumbers over here. They're a type of squash. We've got them trained to grow up this trellis. A bit of a sweet pea coming up there with it. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is a climbing cucumber and you have these little tendrils. A lot of people just plant them and they sprawl all over the ground, but if you plant them with something for them to attach to, then this plant will climb all the way up this fence and fill it all the way up. And when it does grow the cucumbers, they're easy to pick and easy to get to. And it's important to take advantage of vertical space. Some plants that'll sprawl all over the ground, if you're able to get them to grow up onto a trellis or onto a fence, then you can capitalize on all that vertical space and you end up with a much, much better plant. So back to the squash here. If you haven't got squash in the ground, it's not too late, but uh, they're starting to take off. 